This is part 20 of Angular 6 tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss creating a form array of form group objects. If you're wondering why are we doing this, well, this is preparation for dynamically creating form groups at runtime. Every time we click Add Skill button on this Create Employee form, we want to be able to dynamically generate a new set of these three skill related form fields that is, skill, experience, and proficiency. We want to generate as many skill sets as the end user wants. All the user has to do is click the Add Skill button. So, in this video, we'll do all the preparation required for that. This is our Create Employee Component class. The first thing that I'm going to do here is move this piece of code into a separate method. In a bit, you'll understand why we are doing this. I'm going to name that new method Add Skill Form Group. And then let's paste that copied code here. And if you look at what this code is doing, it's returning a group with these three skill related fields. So let's use the return keyword here. Since the method is returning a form group, let's explicitly set the return type of this method to form group. The next thing that we're going to do is turn the skills control into a form array from a form group. If you're new to form arrays, we discuss them in detail in our previous video. So to turn this control into a form array, we are going to use the form builder array method instead of the group method. We already refactored this piece of code into a separate method. So let's delete this code. And we are creating an array here. So let's use a pair of square brackets. When this form loads for the first time, we want to have at least one of the skill form group. So for that to happen, within our skills form array, we want to call this add skill form group method that we just introduced. This method returns a form group of these three skill related fields. So within the form array, let's call add skill form group method. Now, if you're wondering why we have created the separate method, well, that's because in our next video, we're going to include a button here, add skill. And every time we click this button, we are going to call this method add skill form group and push the form group that this method returns into this skills form array. This allows us to generate these three skill related form fields dynamically. In the component class, we converted the skills control to a form array from form group. But in the template, it is still a form group. So we need to convert the skills into a form array. Just above this form group name div, I'm going to include another div. And then let's move this closing div right here. And on this div, let's use form array name directive. And bind this div to this skills form array in the component class. Now, one important point to keep in mind is within our skills form array, we only have one skill form group and that form group is present at index position zero. So we will have to set this form group name directive to zero instead of skills because skills is no longer a form group. It's a form array and within that form array, our skill form group is present at index position zero. So at this point, let's save all our changes and take a look at the browser. Notice in the browser console, we do not have any errors. That's good. Now let's quickly verify if the validation still works. The validation for all these form controls seems to be working. Now let's verify if the skill related form fields validation works. Notice it doesn't work anymore for these three skill related fields. So let's understand why. Our skill form controls are present in a form group and that form group is present in a form array. Now, if we take a look at our log validation errors method, this method is responsible for showing and hiding these validation messages. So in this method, notice we are looping over all form controls and form groups in this employee form root form group. If the control that we are currently iterating over is an instance of form group, then we are recursively calling this same log validation errors method, passing it that form group. 
Now the important point to keep in mind is within our employee form root form group in addition to form controls and form groups we also have a form array. So we should be doing this kind of a similar check. If the control that we are currently iterating over is an instance of form array then we have to get to the form group within that form array and then recursively call the log validation errors method passing it that form group. So let's make a copy of this and then change the bits that are required. So if the control that we are currently iterating over is an instance of form array Let's loop over all the elements within this form array. For that, let's use another for loop. I'm going to create a constant. Let's name it control. Now we need to check if this control in the form array is an instance of form group. So let's include another if condition here. If it is an instance of form group, then we want to call this log validation errors method recursively, passing it the form group. We do not have any errors in the browser console, which is good. Now let's quickly verify if our skill fields validation work. Looks good. Let's also quickly verify if the validation for the rest of the fields work. everything is good. So in this video we have prepared the ground to dynamically add skill form groups. What we have done so far is converted the skills control to a form array from form group and at the moment within the skills form array we only have one form group and that form group is present at index position 0. Now to bind this skills form array in the template we are using form array name directive and to bind to this form group we are using the form group name directive. We also fixed the broken validation. In our next video on this form we will include a button add skill and every time we click that button we want to dynamically generate another set of these three skill related form fields. That's it in this video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.